Dinner Meets Art. The stunning vegetable tart is easy, impressive, and totally fun to make. It's a show-stopping dish for your table. Tammy Stegel joins us with the recipe for a lemon ricotta spiral courgette. Did I say that right? Yes. Ah, good. <laughs> courgette is just a British word that they borrowed from the French that means green and yellow squash. Oh. So beautiful, courgette. That's so fun to say. It is fun to say, and I feel so sophisticated <laughs> saying it as well. Okay, I the smell, I wish you guys had smell-o-vision so you could smell the lemon and our seasoning and our, um, I'm losing my word, but thyme, right? What do we thyme, have? Thyme, yes. Okay, this there we go. Thyme, one of my Just favorite all herbs. the smells right now are so yeah. incredible. So you say it looks complicated, but it's easy to achieve. Let's Super start. Easy. Tell me a little bit about the crust, because I know so, you've got to get going on that. This is a fail-proof pastry, which we have done on an earlier segment, so you can go look that up mm. on KSL. Okay. But this is a pastry that I've already prepared that has thyme in it and that, buttermilk. Okay. Ooh, so ooh. it's really yummy. And then we make a fresh ricotta filling What's to go going with in it. here? So the, what goes in here is ricotta, chili, a couple of tablespoons of honey. Oh, I better open the honey. <laughs> now, uh, while you're doing that, where did you get this ricotta? Because at the typical grocery store, we're not seeing ricotta like this. Yes. That's as smooth and creamy. So that is a fresh ricotta. I did get that at Harmon's. Okay. I love That's Harman's, really good to know. Obviously. And then um, this is the fresh thyme, and I just take the, a couple of sprigs and put it in here. So the tart has the thyme Ooh, in it. Okay. The ricotta has the thyme in it. And then show me what you were using for the zester for the lemon, because so you have long pieces of zest. And I like the long pieces because the oil comes off and that bouquet Ooh. of the flavor yeah. really air, airs its way through the ricotta and the crust. And mm. the top. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly mix Are those, this up. Um, what other? You've got some chili this in there. This is a red okay. chili pepper. Okay. And so it's a little bit. It's not quite as hot as some other kinds of pepper, but it gives it a nice, beautiful a little bit. metal kick. Love not that. very much. You really can't taste it. A and whole with the lot. honey, I love a little spicy and honey combo. I do too. Like honey on my pepperoni pizza is one of my favorites. And this favorites. really completes it because it's like a sweet and savory mm. dish with a little bit of spicy kick. Mm. So there. There's our ricotta. I'm here for this. And this then is gorgeous. I'm just going to take this offset spatula and I'm going to have you participate and help. Yes, See those give big, me a job. I love that. Strings of the lemon zest. Um, yes, those are gorgeous. I started looking at the zucchini because these are so perfectly cut. I got to know how you prepared these. So on this, I use a mandolin right Okay, here we're going to bring mandolin. that over. And it cuts it about an eighth of an inch thick. Okay. And then what we're going to do is start layering these the color yeah, side see. up oh color and side we're up. gonna okay. just create these do i cross new... over it like this yeah okay there's no like right or wrong and then we'll just start alternating oh, colors alternate. okay I'll, I'll go to yellow and then it just takes a few short minutes this is a really simple tart so while you're doing this okay i am going to prepare the glaze for the top Ooh, okay so the glaze what goes the into top that? is the juice of one lemon and then I mm. use this kind of a zester, and this is what something curious that a lot of people don't know, that when you juice your lemon, it goes face down. A lot of people don't know that. I know, Isn't that, I, it, it's counterintuitive, because you yeah. think it's gonna go that way, the shape yeah. of the lemon, but it goes face down, because then it collects the seeds you get, for you. Ooh, yes. And then you do, you do your lemon juice, and again, mm. more time. And I actually grow thyme in my garden at home because I love it so oh, much. Oh, you have a plethora of thyme. We're going to come to your house when we need to get some. Such a great herb. It's almost like oh. a mint. There's plenty to share. This is it's like squash. There's plenty to share. Such a like <laughs> fresh smelling. I can only imagine once we taste it how fresh tasting it is. Do you feel like this is a good kind of year round too? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. And it's really. It's a really impressive. It's a good showstopper and simple yeah. to make. It looks fancy, but it's actually quite simple. All right, so we have our lemon, we've got our thyme, and then what else are you adding to that one? And then I'm just one? putting a little bit, okay. about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm working quickly here. here. Into this. Okay. And Beautiful. then I'll give it a little whisk. That's it? That's awesome. it. Oh, I love that. And That's so easy. You can use some salt and pepper, but I'm just gonna give this a little whisk. Okay. And then once this tart is complete, Yeah we'll just brush it on the top and then it goes into the oven. And how long are you baking this for? What temperature? Okay, so normally I would yeah. par bake it. Which what does means that mean? Bake it halfway. Like the crust or the whole thing? The crust. Okay, and the crust so first. 
right over here I have a little tart pan okay. with some okay. pie pearls in it. And these are pie pearls. What do those do? These weigh it down so that the crust doesn't puff up while it's halfway baking. Ooh. And you can just purchase these on Amazon. I've never really found some with that have this many, so Amazon's your ticket. Okay, all right, and then, and then you're ready to put this on. And then, so yeah. you're baking part of the crust, you, you, you add bake. all your fillings, and then how long are you baking it for? And then you'll bake it for 25 more minutes. So you'll start Ooh. baking it for 20 minutes and then bake it another 25 once you complete it. How'd I Beautiful. do? How'd I do, coach? Good job, good job. <laughs> oh, this so. is so gorgeous. And really, that wasn't too hard. I feel it like, so easy. I mean, the baking time might yeah. be the longest, hardest part of the whole thing. You just have to wait for it and be patient. Yes. Tammy, yes. delicious. So try it at home. Okay. I can't wait. Where can we find more recipes from you? You can go to biteneindustries.com, and I just barely uploaded a website. Yay! If it is to get filled out, but... All right. We're so excited. You guys, it smells incredible. You're going to love it.